So I wanted just to start by, you know, obviously asking you to reflect a little bit on the acquisition. It was, I think, the largest ever open source acquisition. And, uh, you know, MySQL had been looking at going public and, you know, instead ended up getting acquired. Uh, six months in, how's that seem to you guys? Let's see, six months into this. Um, it's actually been really rewarding. Um, there are, uh, you know, my first reaction with it was, uh, the, the day that we had the announcement, was my first question out was, uh, you know, I think I'd asked one of the, the sun techs, so you're going to send me a, a large Niagara 2 machine from my basement, right? Uh, so free hardware, right? Um, you know, six months later, so they? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> I was told that there's a lot of machines you can access somewhere, but uh, I'm still uh, working on getting to the idea of it, the truck backing up to my house and just dumping off some hardware. Um, it's been actually, it's been really rewarding. Uh, Sun has a really old engineering culture. It's a very, very uh, engineering driven company. Uh, and you know, the first time I went to one of uh, Greg's, uh, Greg's our CTO uh, at Sun, and went to his uh, staff meeting, it was just a, an amazing meeting with all these engineers who were very uh, thinking, you know, disagreeing and uh, commenting on technologies, and it was just a really rewarding environment to be in. How are you, My first reaction was, uh, thank God to be in the public. Because uh, I'm truly believing in open source, and I was a little skeptical about uh, the trend uh, that uh, you need to make more money and for it, and, it, and uh, for doing that, you need to do start doing closed source components, and that's already started to influence the decision makers within MySQL. And I just need know that if you go public, that trend will, will continue, and that's not good for open source. So yeah, so so effectively, Sun so saved uh, MySQL from the pressures of the public market. Yes. Although, or maybe insulated, because I don't think Sun is immune to those pressures either. Yeah. Uh, just a lot bigger uh, company, so, you know, for MySQL, which is a profitable and growing part of Sun, I think it certainly saves some of that. Uh, I know six months in, Sun is still trying to figure out what did they buy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's very interesting, because Sun, of course, was... Uh, Arguably, the first really successful open source company. They, they ended up taking Berkeley Unix private, so to speak, and um, you know that was the first business model. You know, it was still hardware oriented. Uh, they have a, had a great run. In fact, I think they were here at the very first OSCON. I think MySQL was too. So we've had uh, you know both companies kind of be part of all of this. Uh, but Sun has really made an about face, you know, where uh, they started by taking, you know, like Apple, for example, saying what we're going to do is we're going to take the value of, that was created in open source and we're going to now create a proprietary company around it. Uh, but now they really, Jonathan's made a, a clear commitment to open source throughout the organization. How's that, you know, do you see tensions uh, in the organization around that or they, is that sort of all the way through? I think it's uh, inevitable to see uh, tension around that. You have engineers who have worked in um, traditionally very closed environments who now see their source code um, having to go out and be public. And for any engineer, that's kind of a, 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 a there's a certain moment of truth in that. That is, did we write this thing well? Did we did we miss something? What does this mean? I don't know if I have to get on mailing lists or I hear there's something called IRC that I now have to add that to my daily you know, a uh, list of already too much information that's coming in. So I think from an engineering standpoint, you know, as an engineer who wants to, to move themselves into open source or wishes to work on open source, it is opening yourself up to an awful lot more input than what you may traditionally have. So, you know, what I see when I talk to people in Sun, some people are very much like, we want to get their stuff, we want to get our stuff out there very fast, you know, get people using it as quickly. And then there's other people who are, you know, less, uh, less wanting to actually have any kind of spotlight on, on their work. We'll drink no wine before.